When we talk about the greatest Call of Duty games of all time, we're talking the likes of Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, Modern Warfare 3, and perhaps the best game of them all, of all time in this franchise, Modern Warfare 2. And now, it's back. Right, so what is up guys, SDPZ here, and today we are here to talk about Modern Warfare 2 Remastered. Now, this has been a big topic on Twitter recently. Um, somebody on Twitter, some sort of leaker of uh, sort of the Call of Duty news and so on, um, has found tweets uh, and evidence that this may be coming a lot sooner than we thought. <coughs> So there was actually a deleted tweet on Twitter. I won't be able to show you it because it was deleted. Uh, basically, the guy says that Modern Warfare 2 Remastered has been finished for a very long time now. Uh, it's, the game has literally been ready to release for like ages. But unless the likes of Activision or or someone or Sledgehammer or whatever, whoever produces the game delays their game by a year, it's it's sort of difficult to release because you don't want to release this as a as a site like so when modern warfare remastered was released that was released at the same time as infinity war now nobody played Infin infinite war because it was dreadful the game was absolute trash people played modern warfare remastered and that was pretty trash as well like let's be honest it's a pretty poor game so they can't they don't really want to release it as almost like a side game they want to, that to be the flagship game for the year which is big i've got to be honest that, that's a big statement to make if you want to make that as a flagship game so you're sort of re-releasing Possibly the best Call of Duty of all time. But have they messed it up? <clears throat> so if you go on Twitter and type in Modern Warfare 2 Remastered, it's the first thing that comes up. I'm sure you'll be able to find it if you guys want to see some more information on it. If you want to read through the actual article itself, um, it, it's not hard to find. You literally have to type that into Twitter and it's literally almost the first thing that comes up. Uh, but basically, it says the game has been ready. The game is ready to release. We are, we're ready to see this. It could happen this year. It all depends on contracts between the different companies that make the games. Obviously, you've got Sledgehammer, Activision, Treyarch. Uh, it all depends on the, the, the contracts that you guys have uh, and whether they're prepared to maybe backdate some games for the release of this. Um, that being the biggest issue. Now, obviously, we all know that Morpher 2 was probably the best, the best Call of Duty of all time. If you don't think it was, let me know in the comments what you think the best Call of Duty of all time was. But for me, Modern Warfare 2 was the game that really just set the scene alight. Now, I played this game a hell of a lot. I even played this game back on the Wii. Now, don't get me wrong, I was not very good because I was playing on the Wii. Like, come on. Come on. But, like, um, if you're a very, very long-time subscriber of maybe some of my old YouTube channels, maybe not this one, maybe some of my old channels... Um, or some old deleted videos, you would know that I actually did used to upload Wii content to the to YouTube. Yeah, it was a it was a pretty interesting time. But for this, this was the game that really got me into Call of Duty and really made me want to play it every year, like I do now. Like I make these montages, uh, like we just made Focus uh, on Modern War on Modern Warfare. So th this is this is what brought my love of Call of Duty to life and really made me just want to play this game. This this game, you wanted to come home every day and play it. You didn't you didn't feel forced to play it. You wanted to go to school, you finished at 3 o'clock, you raced home as quick as you could, chucked off your school kit, got into some joggers, whacked on the Xbox, there we go. Modern Warfare, you just put your headset on, you played with your friends all night until you couldn't anymore, you just trash talked to everyone, and, and you just got on with life. Life was good, man. Life was good. The, one of the issues I think this game may have in nowadays is will it be the same? Will the trash talking be the same? Because sadly, today's generation just wouldn't be able to deal with it. Uh, the trash talking that used to go on was pretty violent. Like, let's not lie. Some of the things that used to be said in, in lobbies were pretty mad. Like, let's not let's not beat around the bush. Some of the things were mad. But, like, I just feel like today's society, just the way everybody is so protective of everything and everybody is so pathetic about nearly everything and just takes life way too seriously and everything is offensive, you can't say anything now that won't offend someone, so trash talking may not be the same, which was sort of one of the main nostalgia points of the game, just literally, just like killing someone and then just like telling them they were trash at the game and just, you went back and forth at each other, and most of the time you ended up actually adding these people on Xbox and playing with them, being in a party with them, you ended up becoming friends with most of these people, it was actually a really good time, really good community, um, I just don't feel like today's community could be like that. There's too many squeaky little 12 year olds that go on and cry to their mum when someone, or they're just like, they go on and say something racist and it's just, 
it's, it's too easy to offend people nowadays. Um, so I just don't know whether today's community would actually cope with it. But if the Call of Duty community can get behind this and really make this game what it was back in the day, it could be something special. Now, obviously, I do hope that basically they don't touch the game. They literally just re-release the game exactly as we received it back when it first came out. I don't want them to change it in any way. I literally want it just to be nice new graphics in 4K, and that's all I want. I don't want anything different. The game was perfect. Don't don't change it. You don't need to change anything. You don't need to buff any weapons, nerf any weapons, make them exactly as powerful as they were before, make the game exactly the same, and people will love it. Just don't don't change anything, please. Please, please, please don't change. That game was the epitome of perfect Call of Duty. I'm just terrified that they'll release it and they'll have changed things and there'll be slightly different things on the maps and there'll be slightly different guns and the guns will be slightly more powerful, slightly less powerful than they were before. It just, the just game won't just feel right. Just If they literally stick to the script of Modern Warfare 2 and, and just get the game and just go, there you go, in 4K, that will be so perfect, it's unreal. That game will literally be the perfect Call of Duty, 4K Modern Warfare 2. Ooh. So yeah, like I say, we've got the possibility of this coming out this year. It all depends on contracts and so on. But from what we can work out, the game is finished. Just when will they release it? So if you have enjoyed this, please drop a like on the video. Drop a comment down below when you think they're going to release the game. And also let me know your favourite Call of Duty. If it wasn't Modern Warfare 2, let me know which one was and why. I've got plenty. Don't get me wrong, I enjoyed a lot of Call of Duties. All the ones I mentioned at the start. But Modern Warfare 2 was, was my favourite by far. Let me know what you guys think. Um, if you're hyped for this, like I say, drop a like on the channel. Subscribe for more Call of Duty content and all kinds of content across the channel. We upload every single day at 6pm, so hit that notification bell so you never miss out on a video. Thank you very much for watching, and peace.